That's how life flies by, my parents used to say in response to our surprise at the transience of anything. Before you know it, you're 40, was the same phrase. All mankind is familiar with this effect, and it is spoken about in every country of the world and in every language. But those who talk about it have something in common. It's age. You will almost never hear such statements from people under 20. The older a person is, the more often he mentions the transience of time. Even Albert Einstein wrote that the concept of time is not absolute, but depends on where the observer is. The stronger the gravitational field acting on him, the faster time flows. Maybe that's the point. And Einstein already described everything in his theory of relativity. Unless you have changed your residence to something much closer to a black hole and moved at a speed close to the speed of light, that's not the case at all. So maybe it's a copycat effect where someone once said something similar and then everyone read it and started repeating it. It doesn't seem to be because people do feel that way even if it's a tribe of natives unfamiliar with our culture. The question is, do these feelings have a real basis or are they just an illusion? Let's try to find out. Think of a time in your life when there was a multitude of events, encounters, observations, for example, a journey. Even if it only lasted two or three weeks, do you remember it well? Certainly yes, and you can reconstruct each day from memory. How quickly did those two weeks go by? Rewind two weeks from the current moment, assuming of course that nothing remarkable has happened recently. Compare the two periods, which one seems longer to you? Most will answer that it is the one where they have been traveling, if my last two weeks passed in a routine, routine and unnoticeable way, that it is even difficult to remember some events by which to label the days, when the amount of new things per unit time exceeds the usual limit, when each next day or even hour is not like the previous one. Such a period seems even a separate life, don't you agree? By the new impressions and information one receives from the world, the brain, as by anchors, counts down the elapsed time. We can easily recall the date and even the hour of some important and memorable event in our lives. And we have so much trouble distinguishing between the days that look like each other, that endless series of grey days that so quickly carry our lives away. In a child, each subsequent day is filled with new events, meetings, forms of communication and activity. Unlike an adult, he is full of impressions of all that life presents to him. After all, it's all new to him. And of course, time goes slower for him than for most adults. So the acceleration of time is due to a change in its perception with age. But it turns out that the novelty of events is not the only reason for this. What else is there? Let's remember or imagine how a six-year-old child's brain evaluates the past year. For him, it is not only a lot of amazing events, but also 20% of the sum of all his previous years, from one to five. One year to him is one-fifth of his whole life. A fifth of life is a considerable interval in the subjective sense, however short life itself may be. The past year for a 26-year-old man is another matter. When he turns 25, one year is only 4% of all the years lived. Naturally, it is not as significant or noticeable in duration as it is for a six-year-old. The older a person gets, the shorter and shorter a period relative to the past life each new year will seem to his brain. This effect can manifest itself not only at a distance of many years. Let us remember many stories from participants of serious car accidents, when at the moment of an accident, the flow of time turned into slow motion for them. Everything slowed down, and some of them even saw every single glass pane of the broken windshield falling down. 
Why does this happen? It is the same here. An accident is not even just an unusual situation in which the brain needs to have time to assess and realize everything. It is a critical situation, threatening serious injuries and even death. At such a moment, it is necessary to gather all possible information about the surrounding conditions in a very short period of time and use it to make the right life-saving decision. At such moments, a person begins to notice every detail as in slow motion. And even though the incident itself may last only a few seconds, it seems to him that minutes or even more have passed not to mention the fact that he remembers it for life. So what to do, how to slow down, if not to stop, at least this inexorable run of time which starts rushing after 25, 30, 35 years. Objectively, we cannot do it, at least so far, but in our power to influence the factors of its subjective perception. There are many methods, but the essence of them comes down to one. If you are old enough, you need to take the trajectory of your life in new directions yourself. Don't shy away from the opportunity to have new experiences, develop in directions you didn't know before. Read interesting books and solve unusual tasks to create new neural connections in your brain, which will help you see the world from new angles and look at any situation from any side that you wish. Travel, meet new people, and socialize. Try to diversify any routine operations. At least take a new route to work. Start learning a language. Make up your own fairy tale for the kids. Or organize an evening homemade play. There are many big and small ways to make life brighter. And there are many ways, both expensive and free, to slow down this harness in which time inevitably carries us into the future. And to conclude this video, I would like to recall a quote that is often attributed to famous comedian George Carlin, or even the Dalai Lama. Life is not measured by the number of breaths and exhalations, but by the moments when it takes your breath away. In fact, former pastor Bob Moorhead said it in one of his letters. And hopefully, you can now see why this is really true.